Welcome to Freeway Moments. In this episode, we will be looking at links. A link allows you to connect pages of your website together so that people can navigate around the site and find all the information they want. You can also link to other websites or online resources. Links are normally applied to text or images. In this moment, I'll be using Freeway Express. Freeway Pro users can follow along quite happily with this moment as well. To start off with, I'm going to apply a link to this big red button. To do this, I select the button and I drag the page in the site pane down into the link well at the bottom of the window. When I've done this, the page name appears in the link well and our button now has an icon in the top left hand corner which shows that it is a link. I now want to apply a link to some of this HTML text. So I'll start by selecting the text and unlike last time, I'll show you the hyperlink dialog window. So I'll open that from the edit menu. And again, I can choose any page in my site which will be listed in this area of the window. Or I can create a brand new page and our link will then link to that new page. For now, I'm going to select the page I linked to previously with the graphic. And then I'll click on OK. As you can see, the text is now blue and is underlined, which is how it will appear in the browser. Both methods of creating a link can be used on both graphics and text, so you don't have to stick with the methods I've used for each kind of link you want to make. I want to change the colour of the text links on this page, so I'll go to the Appearance button in the Inspector palette for the page, open the Links Disclosure triangle, and choose a colour in the Normal drop-down. This will change the link colour on the page to red. And as you can see, Freeway has reflected this choice. I also want to link to another website from this page. In this case, I'm going to link to the SoftPress homepage. So if I select the word SoftPress in the last sentence on this page, and then again go to the Edit Hyperlink window, this time I'll click on the External tab, and I can now type in the URL of the website I wish to visit. If I choose HTTP from the protocol and in target I'm going to choose underscore blank and this will cause the link to open in a new window in the browser. I click on OK and the link is again applied. Finally I'll show you how to apply a link to a rollover. This is pretty much the same rollover I made in the last moment. So if I click on the site pane title I want to click the grouping object for the rollover, so I want to click that item. And then if I go back to the site, I can then drag the page into the link well as before. And as you can see, the rollover has now got a globe in the top corner, which shows us that a link has been applied to that object as well. Let's have a look at this page in Safari. Quick preview. And as you can see, we've got some red text links, as well as a button which links as well. If I click on the button, it will take us to our new page. And indeed, if I click on the rollover, that will take us to that new page as well. And our SoftPress link will open the SoftPress website in a brand new window. In this moment, we've looked at links. We've looked at applying them to graphics, as well as HTML text. We've also learned how to apply links which open new windows and had a quick look at applying links to rollovers as well. So that's all you need to know to make your website navigable and to link to external websites which may be of interest to your readers. So have fun with links and I'll catch up with you at the next moment.